In this video, you're going to learn how to use a more pipette. Before watching this video, make sure you've watched both the meniscus video and the transfer pipette video. From watching the transfer pipette video, you should already be familiar with what a pipette is, how it works, and what you use it for. This is a more pipette, and it's used very similarly. As you can see, it doesn't have the wide section in the center. Instead, it's one consistent width. Also, instead of having one graduation at the top, more pipettes have several located the entire length. Because of this, more pipettes are able to transfer more than one volume. You'll notice that the volume indicated at the top of the pipette is zero milliliters, and it, this increases as you go down the pipette. In order to know the transferred volume of solution, you must take the difference between the final volume and the initial volume in the pipette. For example, if the initial volume in your pipette is one milliliter and the final volume is 4.2 milliliters, you would have transferred 3.2 milliliters of solution. Rinsing the more pipette is done the same way as rinsing with the transfer pipette. Rinse three times with the deionized water, then three times with the solution you wish to transfer. As always, make sure to rinse above the highest graduation. When the pipette is clean, now the transfer can be made. Again, hold it in your dominant hand and squeeze the pipette bulb and place it on top of the pipette. Now place it in your solution. Hold the pipette vertically and make sure it's far enough in the solution that it won't suck up air, but not so deep that it touches the bottom of the glass. Slowly release your grip on the pipette bulb and begin filling the pipette. Unlike with transfer pipettes, you don't have to fill the solution all the way to the top graduation. Just fill it enough so that there's slightly more solution in your pipette than you need to transfer. Replace the pipette bulb with your index finger, sealing the solution and stopping any more from filling or draining. Remove your pipette from the solution and wipe down the outside with a kit wipe. Now make sure to make note accurately of the volume inside the pipette. Once you've done this, move it over to the receiving vessel. Once you've finished draining, touch the pipette to the side of the glassware. Now record the final volume in your pipette. Take the difference between the initial and final volumes to get the volume transferred. Now drain the remaining solution back into your decanted solution. You don't have to worry about contamination because your pipette should be clean. You've now transferred your solution and need to clean your pipette. You do this the exact same way as with the transfer pipette, rinsing three times with tap water, then three times with deionized water. Just like when using a transfer pipette, using a more pipette can take time to master. So if you keep practicing and follow the instructions I've told you, you'll master your pipetting skills in no time.